We're here with the great Davey. Dave, 96 or 86, which, which team you had a better team? Uh, you know, uh, the 96 team was a great team. Uh, I mean, I, I love that ball club. You know, 86, uh, from where we came, I would have to say that was a great, the best team I've had because <laughs> the pitching, the bullpen, uh, the, the all kinds of different players that I had. More uh, rookies, right? Yeah, we now between uh, Bachman and uh, uh, Dykstra, and, and then I had Hernandez, Carter, Strawberry. You know, I mean, it was a great ball club, and then a great bullpen, great pitching staff, all great, great manager. Arms. Also, yeah. yeah. You know, when you got great players, you don't have to manage too hard. You would in. in the Mets uh, reunion, alumni, when they, they put you yeah. in the Hall of Fame, you said that the easiest way was to just turn on FAN and they... Oh, yeah, no question. You know, I mean, I love listening to FAN because, you know, it, one thing about New York, they, it challenges you every day. I mean, and uh, you, you have to have answers. Uh, and it makes you think. Uh, you know, you know, a lot of the times the questions don't, you know, you don't, you don't need to go there, but... Uh, it, it, it's a challenging. I mean, it's. I, I really loved it, and I thought the fans were great, and uh, I love playing and managing here in New York. That '96 team with the Orioles. How did you get the veteran players to believe in you and to do exactly what you wanted them to do? Well, it's real easy. You know, whenever you manage, you got to be right every day. I mean, players are. Uh, they look at the manager and they see the decisions he makes, and as long as he's right, you got no problem. You can never be wrong. Because uh, players have an opinion just like you do. And as long as your decisions, 99.9% uh, .9 of the players agree with it, you're going to be successful. Can't be that. Davey, uh, one thing that bothers me, how come teams today don't take infield and outfield? You got it by me. I mean, I, I think infield and outfield, I mean, it's, it's like if you're going to take your girlfriend or wife to uh, 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 dance and you haven't practiced with her, how are you going to look good on the dance floor? Yep. Outfitters don't practice their arm anymore. Yeah. Well, I, 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 you know, I'm a, I'm a dinosaur because I believe in, I believe in infield and outfield, and I believe you got to do a lot of it early in the season. You know, maybe hot times in the summer you can back off. But uh, when I was in Baltimore, we took it every day. It was, we, we felt that was a way to intimidate the opposing club. That's right. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your time and courtesy. Good luck. Bro. Yeah, my pleasure, man.